Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Magnius, and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. It's been a while since I made a Kerbal Space Program video, and again, this is mostly due to the editing time and stuff like that, and how long it really takes to do a mission. It's a lot more than the 20 minute videos that I put up. It takes a couple of hours, and it's already really late, so I feel sort of bad doing this, but oh well. It matters not. We have put our satellite in orbit around Val. We did this last episode, but I didn't decouple, I decoupled off camera. We are currently in a pretty neat little orbit. I got as low as I could. I didn't want to go much lower because uh, these mountains, these ridges can get up to about 12 kilometers. And our... Let's see, what is that? Our PE? Where, where is my M key? Here it is. Our PE is just, just over 12, 12 kilometers. So actually we may go like within 400 meters or so of a cliff, of a peak, of a mountain. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, so this is this is beautiful. I like Val. Val is is quite nice. Apparently, somewhere, somewhere on this this moon, there is some sort of Easter egg, like there are on most celestial bodies in Kerbal Space Program. But due to this orbit, we're probably not going to go over everything. This is not a complete polar orbit, so oh well. We're just we're just going to deal with the fact that it's beautiful. And, man, I really wish that these would just, you know, render and stay rendered. This is sort of weird. Really need to check my settings. Man, the jewel, the jewel system is just so freaking beautiful. Let's see if we can zoom out. I, uh, I could see Lathe and Tylo before when I was zoomed out before, but I... Man, look at that. That is a beautiful moon, look at that. So you can see Jewel over here, but... Uh, Lathe, Lathe and Tylo were both here. Let's... Where, where are they? Yeah, they're both, they're both hiding behind Val at the moment, so we're, we're not going to be able to see them until we go over this giant ridge, probably. But we're not going to stay here that long. I just wanted to show you guys how close we are to the surface of Val. We haven't landed on it, and unfortunately we're probably not going to be landing on it before the update hits, because the update is coming soon to point... 21 I believe 0.21 is going to be the next version and it's going to destroy our persistence files which means that all of our current flights are going to be destroyed but we'll be able to keep our craft most likely we will just have to like tweak them a little bit to make them work better because they're changing some stuff about the physics and the SAS so yeah other than that I'm uh, I'm pretty excited about the update I'm not very happy about losing all of our flights and our Kerbals, but eh, oh well, maybe maybe we should try to get all of the Kerbals back to Kerbin before we uh, before we update. I'm not sure about that. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to get all of the Kerbals back before we update and they all disappear. It's a freaking beautiful mountains. Alright, so, I think we should go to the Space Center. Well, actually, first, yeah, let's, let's, uh, the, let's resume flight for now. I want to go look at Tylo. Okay, here we are. So this is Tylo. This is going to be our next destination. I'm not really sure if we're going to be able to make it here. Tylo is sort of terrible to land on. It is the largest moon in the entire Kerbal solar system. It is the same diameter as Kerbin, in fact, but it has much less gravity because it's not as dense. It does not have an atmosphere, which means you cannot aerobrake, you cannot use parachutes. And it is uh, basically the Kerbal analog for Ganymede. Ganymede is the largest moon in our solar system. Ganymede is actually larger than Mercury, as, as well as Titan. Titan is larger than Mercury as well, but since they orbit around Jupiter and Saturn, respectively, they cannot be planets, unfortunately. Although I think they're totally awesome. So this is where we're going to go next. It looks basically like the moon, except a little bit strange strange colors compared to the moon. But I have no problem with that. Alright, so let's go ahead and get on our space center. I don't want to end my flight. I, I have already placed something to launch the Tylo orbiter. Let's fly it. It is on the launch pad as we speak. And we are going to attempt to launch it now and hopefully we get into some sort of orbit because you know it would be terrible if we were not to get into orbit okay, let's go ahead and 
quick save because I quick saved somewhere else earlier and that that was not good right throttle up and T and let's hope that this works five four three two one blast off <laughs> down to about 100 meters per second because we don't waste all of our fuel. Drag sucks, my friends. Drag, drag sucks. Okay, we can, we can go up to like 200 now. And drop the boosters. There we go. Everything seems to be going okay. Okay, now let's let's slow down at around 200 meters per second until we get to 10. 10 kilometers, and then we're going to start our gravity turn, as always. Oh, I'm really looking forward to the SAS update, because, you know, we have to, like, turn off the SAS if we want to start our gravity turn, and then we can, like, spin out of control. But in the next version... The next update, we're going to be able to keep our SAS on, and when we hit the SAS buttons... Oh, drop the boosters! Why didn't I notice that earlier? Oh, my sound is down. Um, it continues to keep all of the other axes held in place, but it allows you to move only one axis at a time, which is like sort of the entire point of SAS, in my personal opinion, to keep you under control while you make adjustments. Let's, let's check out our orbit, because I have no idea what we're going up to. Eh, it's not bad. Oh no, what, what just happened? Oh, I think, I think, I think everything's okay. Control, 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 what's going on? Oh, sweet Jesus. Can you drop those? Yeah, I, I think I think it's okay. Don't don't freak out. Oh, nope, oh, nope. Oh, oh, what's going on? Oh god. This is this is not good. This is this is not good. Okay, actually, actually this is fine. Um Get up to 100 ish. Okay, that's that's fine. And now let's see if we can keep this somewhat under control. Uh. <laughs> oh no, probably, probably not. It's okay as long as as long as it stays somewhat, sort of, maybe a little bit. Nope, nope. It's it's not going anywhere. Alright, that's cool. Um, you just stay there. I'm going to put a maneuver node here. I'm going to try to make this uh, somewhat equal. Ah. It's close enough for me. Alright. 59 seconds. No problem. Let's see, that's approximately 30 seconds on each side. We can do that. Oh, should should I turn on... Yes? Yay! It sort of works. Oh, and the, the RCS also in the next update is going to be freaking amazing. It's, uh, the SAS is not going to use your RCS the entire time. Like right now, how it's constantly overdoing itself. Yeah, it's not going to do that in the next update. I'm really excited. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing my burn. What am I doing? Ah! And I'm gonna put it down just a little bit because I don't trust that it's wobbling a little bit too much. This this is fine. I don't even care if it's slightly off. It'll be okay. 
And uh, I did some research on getting to Joule, and I looked up phase angles, and I think I understand phase angles now. So we're in the correct phase angle actually right now to go to Joule. And I'll let you guys know if that ends up working out or not, because I'm, I'm actually not really sure if uh, that's going to work out the way I thought it would. But we'll see, we'll see, perhaps. Hopefully we'll be able to get to Joule with a little bit, little bit more fuel compared to last time. This last, last time was a little bit questionable. We're, we're just like a few, few, oh god. Okay, let's see if that worked. Did that work? That work 84? That, that did not work exactly, but we are above the atmosphere, so I don't really care that much. Alright, very good. So we are in a somewhat stable-ish orbit, and we, I believe, are still in the correct phase angle. Let me just double check. Or something close to the correct phase angle. Yeah, that, that looks somewhere around like 95-ish degrees. All right, sure, why not? Uh, I don't have a protractor, but looks looks good to me. Close enough, close enough. All right, so we will be back in just a few seconds while I try to set up an intercept, and we'll be right back. Hello, everyone, and we're back. We are in the Joule system. I successfully made it here. It was a lot easier with phase angles, but it still wasn't incredibly easy. I don't know, maybe an hour has passed. Look, look how beautiful this is. I'm coming in this way. I'm going into the correct uh, direction. I'm going counterclockwise around Joule as opposed to clockwise and then having to change my entire orbit backwards 180 degrees. I am in line with all of the moons. And look at this, I have a 121, 122 kilometer periapsis, which according to the calculator that I used on the internet, supposedly will give me a per uh, apoapsis at approximately 62,500,000 meters. So 62,500 kilometers, which is Tylo's altitude around Joule, so hopefully we'll get something akin to an orbit that's actually useful. I uh, actually almost hit Val coming in, and I had to like change my orbit a little bit. And it looks like we're gonna have a lathe encounter and get sort of close to uh, some of our Kerbals on lathe on our way back out here, although this could change when we go through the atmosphere. So, let's go ahead and go back to our ship, and I where's Joule? Jewel is probably all the way over there. That is probably Jewel. All right, so let's go ahead and speed this up. And we are going to go and try arrow breaking, and we're going to see how this works out. It is uh, taking its sweet time. Taking its sweet time. Hello, Jewel. All right, so let's just let's just speed this up just a little bit. And hello, look at your moons. Wow, those moons are beautiful. Look at that, stunning. And there is there goes. Who is that? That is. Pole or Bop, maybe? I don't know. Who? That would be Pole. Alright, so Pole just passed by our heads. That's cool. Alright. Lathe, Val, and Tylo. Tylo, here we come. <laughs> As I said, we almost hit Val coming through. So yeah, that, that was a close encounter. And... All right, is everything going according to plan? 121.9? Yeah, th okay, that's good. So let's go ahead and jump into the atmosphere. We, Tylo, Tylo, we're coming for you. I wish I could go to Ganymede. 
Ganymede would be a fun place to go to. Well, actually, it probably wouldn't be. It would probably be quite terrible. Quite unhealthy. But I, I'd be willing to take that risk. And here we go with the orbital view. Oh, it hurts. Oh, I wish you didn't do that. Okay, so apparently the atmosphere is at about 139 kilometers, so... Let's go ahead and jump into the atmosphere. 139. There we go. We are now in the atmosphere. Let's see what happens. Woohoo! Atmospheric effects! I love this. I love this game. Bleed off all of that extra velocity. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, listen to that sizzle. I'm so glad that we don't have deadly re-entry effects. Right, and D, that is changing our orbit. Should be hitting our P yep. We uh we just hit our periapsis. And uh let's see if this works or not. Are you going to be pulled all the way in here? Perhaps. Uh our our orbit's a little bit off because of the lathe encounter, but hopefully hopefully this gets us out of the lathe encounter. It's probably not gonna get us out of the lathe encounter. It's probably gonna make the lathe encounter even worse. Look at this look at this crazy. And entry effects are still going on. Atmosphere. Uh, I would I would really appreciate if the lathe encounter would go away. That would that would sort of make my day. It's getting worse. <laughs> it's getting worse. Oh sweet God. Yep, we're staying in the. Yeah, because we're following lathe around. That's that's totally not what we want to do, yo. Please please don't do that. We, uh, we want to stay in, stay in the jewel system. We don't want to leave. Oh. Lathe, you're, you're just screwing everything up, man. Maybe, maybe I can jump through the lathe atmosphere, perhaps? After, after we get, oh, we are... We are definitely out of the atmosphere now, and I, I need to fix my orbit so that we uh we do some arrow breaking around lathe, because otherwise we're gonna we're gonna freaking fly off into the middle of nowhere. So we don't have time to do that on this episode, but we will do that next episode. Be sure to watch because holy crap, I do not want to exit the jewel system because of stinking lathe getting in the way. Man, that would have been that would have been so perfect if it just if it just weren't for you, lathe. Oh well, well nonetheless, that was pretty fun. We're still in a basically decent orbit, so eh, we'll see if we can fix that next time. So thank you very much everyone for watching. Next episode, hopefully we'll be getting into orbit. Uh, oh no, what just happened? How did... How did... Oh my gosh, <laughs> what? Our engine... <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Alright, it's okay, because I have a quick save. We will start the next episode on a quick save before somehow our engine gets broken off of our... Oh, man. <laughs> um, oh, Magnus. Silly, silly Magnus. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. My name is Magnus, and I will see you next time.